Hi everybody and welcome back to this week's vlog with a view. I have just literally thrown my wellies on and come dashing out at 90 miles an hour to make sure that I avoid all the rain that's been dropping this morning. Look at that cloud. Um, because I knew, I knew exactly what the subject for this week's vlog with the view was going to be. I just needed to make sure that we could video it without ending up with me drowned. So this week we've not been in the direction of the tank traps for a bit. So today we're going to go that away. And when I come back, I'm going to look for some little bits of driftwood for a little mission. For a little mission. I have a I have a, a job to do next week. So this week's vlog with a view is putting the clocks back. <laughs> because of course on Sunday we put the clocks back an hour. Now we've we've already had this conversation times many about how I can't understand my left from my right. And Similars are the thing where I, I really struggle. So <coughs> things like clocks going back and forward, left and right, <laughs> stop and go, <laughs> um, are the, the kind of things that puzzle me. So I always remember it with the mnemonic. Is it a mnemonic? Well, with the saying, spring forward, fall back. And that way I make sure that I'm actually turning the clock the right way around because it wouldn't be unlike me at all to do it completely the other wrong way around. I'm just fastening my coat up. It's a bit more breezy than I perhaps thought it was. You can see the flag is not as bad as it was yesterday. Goodness me, it was windy. So we've been having a debate about putting the clocks back the other day. What do you think? What do you think to the whole putting the clocks back thing? Are you, are you like we are in our house? Because we sort of... Oh, oh that's the mental look forward to. We've been having a debate about it the other day and trying to work out whether or not it was this weekend or next weekend. And my mum said, it'll be next weekend because it's always the last the last Sunday in October. So of course next Sunday is the 1st of November. So I picked my phone up and I, and I asked just the old Google what Google thought. And Google thought it's this Sunday. So we all groaned and said, oh, well that's just adding insult to injury because that's a week earlier than we thought. So, this week, batten down your ashes, folks, because it's going to be dark earlier than you thought. And you look at this lovely, lovely beach. It's been really grey this morning. In fact, at one point, I looked out of the window and it was just all a, a constant, flat, even shade of grey. And uh, it just looks so lovely when you're out and you can... Hear the seagulls yapping. Hello, hello, Dougie. Do you want me to throw it? Eh? Do you want me to throw it? No. <laughs> um. So. So yeah. The clocks go back. So <laughs> I'm 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 but a youngster. And I'm far too young to remember when they did that trial and they didn't bother changing them. So what did you think to that? Were you around at the time? Do you, do you remember it? Um, apparently I was about seven, I think my mum said. She said I, were, I was only little. So we're going back, we're going back a long time. Um, and there were two, two sort of main complaints 
about it when they didn't when they had that that time when they didn't change the the clocks one was the farmers who complained about it being dark late in the morning so they couldn't get as much work done and the other one was the parents who had a problem with the kids going to school in the dark particularly if I remember rightly kids in Scotland because obviously it's darker later up there anyway than it is further down south so that was it the the deed was done and from thence onwards we've been changing the clocks where I see you and it's not too bad in October when you put the clocks back because obviously you get an extra hour in bed which is nice I don't usually bother having an extra hour in bed I usually get up at whatever time my body wakes me up and do some extra work but that's an advantage and then when of course it goes back the other way in spring you lose an hour in bed and have you noticed as well that as you get older it takes you longer to get used to that hour in spring I've noticed as I've I got a little bit older that in spring it's taken me about a week to get used to it and at one time I used to just get up early and that were it <laughs> but now it's as if it's just completely thrown you out and advancing years have this effect on you oh that's squishy that's a squishy bit that so I did see I did see on Facebook a few a few comments that people have put to the effect of never mind putting your clock back an hour can I put mine back to 1972 which I thought was a good idea I don't know about 1972 because that would make me that would make me a very small child again and I don't really think I don't want to go through my life again unless unless I know what I know now um, but 2020 certainly not been much to write home about has it although having said that we're here and we're still alive to tell the story and a lot of us are not this year and in my case I'm walking on this lovely beach and talking to talking to all our lovely lovely watchers viewers that for a view it's beautiful so when there's a break in the conversation don't forget to subscribe if you've not already done so for the Visit File Coast YouTube channel there's lots more videos to come we've got lots of ideas we did some research last week and we've got lots of ideas for new videos to make so there's lots of interesting lots of interesting stuff to keep you amused entertained and informed over winter because once we get past Sunday winter will feel like it's come upon us with a bang so how many clocks have you got going back to the subject of today's vlog because we've got hundreds well we've not got hundreds but that's what it feels like when you're changing them all we uh, we, we quite like clocks at, at rabbit towers and it, I think it's fair to say we've got a good a good selection we've got obviously clocks on your cooker and your microwave and things like that and then there's your watches although I've not been wearing one while I've had a bad dress because it's it don't fit over my bandage and then you've got things like your wall clocks there's clocks on your mantelpiece and your cupboard in your living room and thankfully our phones and iPads and computers and tablets and everything just automatically 
just automatically make the transition. So at least that's one job left. But it's quite funny actually in our house because my mum always starts changing them at tea time on Saturday. So during that period of Saturday evening, you've got no idea what time it is because one clock will say five o'clock and another one will say four o'clock. And then another one says quarter past six and another one says quarter past five. But it's just part of the usual routine confusion that exists in, in our weird and wonderful life. Oh, can you see all the oyster catchers? Up there, I think this woman's going to make them fly when she walks up to them. So I'll zoom in and I'll just stand here and we'll, we'll watch what they're going to do. Are you ready? In a minute now, they're all going to set off. Oh, she's turned around because the, the dog's busy, as you might say. They're quite amazing oyster catchers. They've got long orange legs. They're quite a big bird. They're probably about the size of a pigeon. And they've got long orange legs. And when they fly, they sort of all cackle together. They sound right cute. So don't forget to subscribe for the Visit File Coast YouTube channel. Lots more things to come. I'm going to go and look for some driftwood now for my next my next job next week. Um, so if you subscribe, you'll know what we're up to and all the weird and wonderful things that we're doing in our world. And you'll get an, an alert and notification. So give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. We do vlog with a view at a weekend. It's just a, a, a walk on a local beach and a chat about some kind of random topical subject. So you'll have a lovely day. I'm still waiting for these birds to see what they're going to do. Or are they going to just walk away? She's walking around them. If you see birds on the beach, ideally you, you ought to walk around them because they're resting while the car feed, while the beach is covered on the flying low. There you go. You hear them peeping. Got on the beach at Russell School. So that's today's vlog with a view. So you'll have a lovely weekend. Enjoy what you're doing. And we will be back next week with more, more videos, more interesting stuff. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.